Vermont's senior Senator Patrick Leahy will take part in next week's Supreme Court confirmation hearings remotely, but he is calling on GOP leaders to delay them entirely until stricter COVID procedures are implemented. Local 44's Devin Bates joins us live in the newsroom with what this all means as we're just two days away from these starting. Devin? Yeah, Lauren, hearings for President Trump's nominee, Amy Coney Barrett, are scheduled to begin on Monday in the Senate Judiciary Committee. But GOP Senators Tom Tillis and Mike Lee have both tested positive for COVID-19 and others have refused to be tested. Senator Patrick Leahy joined Senators Cory Booker and Kamala Harris in urging Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham against, quote, unsafely moving forward with these hearings while no clear testing regime is in place to ensure that they do not become another super spreader of this deadly virus. Vermont Law School professor Jared Carter said positive tests in the White House and on Capitol Hill have thrown additional uncertainty over what was already a complicated nomination process. Despite President Trump's claim, it'll be fast and easy. I think it's pretty clear that this is an unmitigated disaster in Washington, and our government is already in a tenuous position uh, with the president uh, having been infected and, and members of his close inner circle and government officials. Can you imagine what would happen if um, a large number of the Senate Judiciary Committee or a large number of the U.S. Senate uh, became unable to carry out their duties because of COVID-19. While members of the Judiciary Committee can attend hearings remotely, committee rules require a majority of its members to be physically present in order to vote on sending the nomination to the full Senate. At the end of the day, however, Leahy and other Senate Democrats don't appear to have a lot of leverage over when the vote happens or what health and safety precautions will be in place the health and well-being of the Senate has got to come first. Do the Republicans have the power to move forward if they want? Sure. Uh, but I think they do that at their own peril, particularly in light of the demographic that, uh, that's make, that the Senate is made up of. Aside from the health concerns associated with contracting COVID-19, Carter said additional positive tests could also have sweeping political consequences. Senate Republicans need 51 votes to confirm Amy Coney Barrett, and Senator Lisa Murkowski has said she doesn't support taking up a vacancy this close to an election. Senator Susan Collins said she's opposed to holding a vote before November 3rd. I think there could be all sorts of different snags. You know, you, you hear about that talk that the Democrats could boycott, and if there's a couple senators who are out ill on the Republican side, there's a razor thin margin, even with the 51 vote requirement. Uh, and I think that means that anything that starts to trip up the process um, can very quickly snowball. In his letter, Senator Leahy said every senator attending the hearing should test negative for two consecutive days prior and make their results public. He added that anyone who tests positive or has come in close contact with someone who has should quarantine. In the newsroom, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.